Hey, hey guys. How's it going? I would like to start by saying I've changed my setup because I inherited a tiny screen that I'm able to put next to my laptop. So I thought, oh brilliant, I can move my laptop from this desk, which is where I do my art, to like over here in the corner. But it does now mean that all of my text and chat is over here. <laughs> so you guys can enjoy chatting to the back of my head. <laughs> Those souls. I. Oh, I'm not on multi chat. There was. Here we go. Oh, my. <laughs> A great start. <laughs> Bear with. <laughs> Nope, wrong way around. So funny. Transform. Horizontal. Right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so complicated. So complicated. There we go. <laughs> Teething indeed. Um, so I am drawing a peacock. Um, and I don't know how this is going to go. I've had I have real um, I've got real creative block right now. Um, so I'm kind of I was trying to work out what would be really cool and interesting to paint. I found this and then I kind of put it on the screen and I was like, oh my God, this is going to take forever to do. But it's going to be cool when it's finished. Just got to work out how to do it. And this is going to take me quite a long time as well. Um, oh, yeah, you might, you guys might want to see what it is, don't you? So there we are. That's what I'm going to paint. I'm going to try and be as mu as detailed as I can be. Maybe. Um. Usually, I would. Um, do a bit of tracing for these bits to get all the key areas in the right place however because this isn't someone's pet <laughs> it doesn't have to be an exact light list I'm not going to bother I can't get my rubber out. There we go.
No, it's a peacock. To be fair, I might, um, I'm going to work out what I'm doing with the tail feathers another time, I think, because I think they're going to be a huge part of it. So I'm just going to focus on the head. Um, just accidentally dipped my brush into my gin and tonic <laughs> but it was only a little bit so it's fine <laughs> I knew it was going to happen to me one day um, so I'm just trying to work out what colours I need to use So there's a lot of So I'm using cerulean blue here um, and then I think I'm going to have some of the viridian so that's my two I've just picked out um maybe i'll use a little bit of the turquoise as well Maybe some of this guy. Oh. 
and then some of it is really like some of the greens are quite punchy so i might be a bit crazy to do this oh, wait no i am too crazy to do that i'll use the uh, i'll use this one sap green sap green light yes I was going to go like full on lime green. No one needs that. <laughs> um, so, what I might do, just for my reference, Do a quick little colour chart for myself. There's my colours. Can I just zoom in. Um, right.
Jen. Thank you. I had a bit of creative block today. So I thought I should probably just paint something that I've never really painted before. <laughs> How's it going? Are you okay? How's life? Yeah, good, thanks. Been to work today. Came home. <laughs> Didn't know what to paint. So I thought I'll have a look on there. As I'm sure a lot of people do, just go on to Unsplash. Have a look and see what's about. What type of images there are. Yeah, I just saw a peacock and saw. Oh, all right. Chakubi! Thanks! Yeah, I had a little bit of creative block, so I wondered um, if I should do something a little bit different today. How's it going? Oh my god. Nobody panic. It's just a giant blob of water. But nobody panic. See? It's all fine. Dave just decided to try what to have for lunch. Oh! What did I have for lunch? I had a sun dried tomato, avocado, and rocket baguette with a packet of crisps or chips as you guys say we say crisps and a ginger beer <laughs> did you already have dinner i have already had dinner um what did i have for dinner I had, oh, um, I had, do you know what, actually, I actually have no idea what it's called. <laughs> um, it's called like Polpet Dorzo. It's, um, I subscribe to this company called All Plants, um, because I'm veggie. Um, and so I subscribe to them and they deliver like me wheels, meals weekly. Um, and that happened to be one of them. It's kind of like a tomato-y we ever had orzo, it's kind of like a mixture between rice and pasta. <laughs> oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> Did you have a nice birthday? Oh, we have a couple of those. That's kind of been a thing over here for a while, I think. Because, yeah, supermarkets just throw it away, don't they? Good. <laughs> I 
keep thinking because I've got a quite a big garden. Um, I'm a bit like, do I do a veggie patch? Do I? Quite a lot to maintain. It's my only bugbear. Hey, Talisman. Yeah, I thought I was having a bit of creative block and thought I should draw something a bit different today. I have zero strategy for painting feathers. And these are like... So I'm doing the head right now. <laughs> Why on earth are you going to do that? <laughs> I was having a large garden. The balcony here it doesn't get a ton of sun, but we can have some herbs. Cute! I like herbs. I'm doing a course at the moment in herbalism. Quite fun. Learning about all the different medicines and medicinal uses, rather. Um, it's well it's not really a um it's an online one so you can do it you get all the papers but you can do it in your own time so i don't have to go into a classroom um and you can either do like a self-study thing um or a tutored and i've just opted for self-study because i couldn't really commit to having a tutored thing um, plus it costs more money <laughs> um and this way i'm kind of in charge of my own schedule of when to do it and it's um there are 10 lessons in total and you get three at a time um so i got my first three then you have to do those three lessons with the tests at the end send it back they grade you and if you pass then you get the next lot so i'm on my last lot so i'm on uh eight nine and ten um and then once i've done all of those you're then supposed to go over everything you've done um, and then you have to write some kind of a dissertation style thing um, based on everything you've learnt which is going to be quite hard because I think it's going to be all about individual herbs and what they can do so there's, there's quite a lot in it because you've got to learn about the um, the herbs themselves and what properties they have then you've also got to learn about the human body and like all the different systems that your body has um so it's quite involved but um some of the questions that have been in it already are things like if you have someone that comes to you um and says i've got arthritis and i've been feeling anxious like you've got to remember what herb to use because the, the whole point is it's supposed to be as simple as possible. So if there's like one herb that you can do something with that sorts both of those symptoms out, then great. So you've got to have it in your head. I hope we don't have to remember every single herb. That's what reference quizzes, that's what reference books are for, right? <laughs> it goes over the different teas too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you can take, um, you can do herbs in all different types of ways. So you can make, um, you can make teas, you can make like baths, you can make ointments and tinctures and even tablets if you want to. It depends all, pulse, polstices they're called, which is like um, muslin with the herby mixture in it. And you put it on your skin, that kind of stuff. 
it's quite cool because you learn about um like the history of it all that's what i find quite interesting And then I've also got a, um, once I've done that one, um, I could potentially do a um, an advanced herbalism course, which focuses a lot, I think it's, for the sounds of it, it's a lot more medical. So you can, um, you learn much more about dosages and, I don't know, medical stuff, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I've got a course on how to make your own, um, like, make your own oh, what's it called like home products so like you can make your own creams your own soap that kind of stuff i don't know why i can't think what it's called yeah it's amazing i mean that's where medicines come from is plants yeah it's really cool and actually for how much you it's the um they're called the school of natural sciences so they're um i think they're a lot bigger in the us actually than they are in the uk um oh yeah the thing i'm doing now will cover that and how to make those kinds of things it's a lot simpler than people make out i think and just how the how the beauty industry has managed to fool people as well into like you know thinking I don't know that your your skin shouldn't be this way it should be that way and they sort of make up things and it's just nice to have that knowledge yourself because you know soap is like one of the worst things you can put on your skin <laughs> ironically. And just all the stuff, all the chemicals and stuff they put in it. Oh yeah, well, natural to repel insects is just um, essential oil. Because I, I get bitten by everything. Um whenever i've been on holiday or like when i've been to america um and i've gone to like louisiana and stuff and like humidity places i always get bitten and i'm covered i've i've just got that blood type that i just i must be so delicious but i've um i've definitely got that blood type husband and i watching life blue zero and this one guy was like i don't like to spray chemicals on me but he swatted and killed 15 mosquitoes in one go and i'm like there are other ways <laughs> yeah my one's um so my boyfriend had a bit of a flea problem this poor cat had just suddenly got loads of fleas um and they were okay like him and his daughter they just didn't really get bitten but when i whenever i went around there i'd come back covered in bites it was awful because i'm just tasty that way you know so i bought this uh, cream that's a repellent rather than a killer i won't lie it's not the nicest smelling thing i always get bitten by all the bugs <laughs> yeah I just remember looking like, especially when I went um, to Canada, I can't remember what part it was, but west in the west somewhere, um, and I was just covered. I looked like I got the measles. It's because we're tasty. We're tasty morsels.
little reminder i hope you're having a good day you should never give up please take care and do what you love because you're important loved and enough and you should be proud of everything you do thanks for that nice message it's very very kind you too there should be more people like you <laughs> <laughs> you having a good day it's not an emu <laughs> gabriel Oh, I like the colours. I'm pleased I chose to do this. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> I'm trying to remember that my, my comments have shifted my screens because I got a little, I inherited a mini screen from Michael and it's here. And um, but all my comments are there, but the camera's there. So I'm like... <laughs> I love watching the detail as you build up the paint textures. I might have said this before, still true. <laughs> Thanks. Patience is what's needed. I kept watching tutorials and stuff of how people water, like use watercolour. And I've not really seen anyone that um, does the same amount of detail that I go into. I think people, a lot of people use watercolours kind of quite lightly. Um, but yeah, I love going into so much detail. Because I kept trying to paint like everybody, like, well, the majority of others that use watercolour too. But that's not what you should do, is it? I like your style technique. Both things. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I do love all the detail in your work. So much patience. Thanks. Yeah, I like the whole, like, um, just keep adding little by little and then gradually you can kind of start seeing what you're, what you're making.
I still haven't worked out how to paint flowers though. That appears to be my biggest challenge at the moment. Because I'd like to combine the two, like animals and flowers all together in one one piece, but I just have not found the right the right way of doing it yet. How's it going? Thank you. Yeah, they're really nice colours, aren't they? I do like having the blues and greens come out every now and then. <laughs> green's my favourite colour. the detail in the eye it's so it's so <laughs> like have you finished painting me yet mm -hmm. do it how am i i'm good thank you had a bit of creative block today so i thought i'd do something a bit different now so um i was waiting for the electrician but 
then he said if you're going to be doing insulation and stuff because obviously it can be very cold here in the uk particularly in a little single single skin brick shed <laughs> outside um he said that you need to probably get all that done first so i'm trying to work out how to do that whether i pay a builder to come and do it or if i do it myself and if i do it myself how the hell do i do it myself <laughs> Because there's lots of different techniques, says YouTube. How's your live streams going? Have you done any recently? I can't... I've gone a bit quiet now on Twitch. Work's starting to pick back up again. So I'm not really keeping track of everybody. As much as I used to. Which is a bit sad. Yeah, exactly. A million ways to skin a cat and all that. Which really worries me how someone figured that out. Yes, I had to take time off of my internet. Oh yeah, but back to streaming now. Nice, although I've been feeling quite unmotivated to do so. I, today, I sat about half an hour before the live stream going, I can't do this. I have no idea what I want to paint. You know, when you're just not, I had a, I had a weird day at work, so I wasn't really feeling it really. And um, I was a bit, ugh. I didn't know what to paint and then I started getting in a tiz. I was like, oh, I've got to live stream because I'm not I'm seeing a friend on Thursday. So I'm not going to be live streaming on Thursday. So I've got to do tonight, really. Um, yeah, create a block. Good, isn't it? <laughs> well, how are you unmotivated? Are you unmotivated? Uh, are you unmotivated to do art as well as live streaming or just live streaming it if that makes sense sometimes you just get blocked a bit either got to push through it or take some time out exactly i pushed through it i'm happy i did because i'm Enjoying painting this now. Yeah. Well, there's nothing wrong with being in a funk. It will come and go. Yeah. 
you'll see something and it will just light a fire again. Um, I'm not certain what colour to do the beat. It's kind of a grey. I might tackle that another time. When my brain is in a diff different space. Right, let's try and tackle these. So. I'm not going to do it black. So, move that down there. So, ooh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to try and do the like the really dark sections. Oh, this is something I'm quite. I find quite hard. When it's adding in a shadow that needs to appear underneath something. That like, that's a really weird thing I've just said. But like these little feathers obviously come they are embossed. And because watercolour you obviously can't go from dark to light, you've got to go light to dark. I find it quite hard to do this kind of thing without it looking like the shadows are just plonked on top. If that makes sense. <laughs> Been practicing some digital ink. Nice. What are you using in digital? Is that um, Procreate? I can't get the hang of it really. I need to practice more. Oh, and the butt, like the, the butt feathers, <laughs> the plumage. I'm sure there's a technical term somewhere. Because I'm sure it's not butt feathers. Um, I'm using Critter. Oh, I've never heard of that. Oh, my laptop. And I don't have a drawing pad or anything, so it's been a little extra difficult to draw and paint on. Ooh. Have you got like a, a Wacom tablet or anything like that? Or are you literally just mousing it? Oh, sorry, you did just say you don't have a drawing pad. Um, you don't have a drawing pad. Procreate is like $50 on PC. Critter is free and does pretty much the same thing. Nice! I might have a look. I have a mouse. That is hardcore. <laughs> How are you finding it with the mouse? Because I, I don't, you know, I think using a mouse is... Um, I think a lot of people would be like, what? But actually, I'm sure that you'll be able to do just as good a things using a mouse. My boss for, for graphic design, he used a Wacom tablet um, for when he was doing illustration and stuff. But I just use a mouse. 
because it's just what I was used to. And you always used to think I was nuts. But then I've tried using a, um, a Wacom tablet for it and it just doesn't feel right. It's just what you're used to, isn't it? But the mouse isn't too bad, but it would be better if I had an iPad or something. I might look into getting one later on. Yeah, because I know that um, Procreate, if you didn't want to spend like on a brand new one, I know, I think Procreate goes on like first edition iPads, I think. Um, but I know you'd need to get a generation one pencil. Because I bought the new, um, well, I've got the these. So it's the I think it's just the iPad Air, I think I bought in the end. Um so it's super I mean that's my finger, so it's super thin. It wasn't the best one. Um because I just didn't need I didn't need anything else because the um Everyone was telling me like, oh, I need to get an iPad Pro. And I'm like, why? Because <laughs> it's, I just don't need a big fancy machine like that, you know? So I just got the iPad. Um, the iPad, I think, it's, I think it's the iPad Air. Um, and then a generation two pencil I've lost me I've lost me peacock now there we are <laughs> have you heard of triophob tripophobia no oh god have I just set something off what oh god have I just set something off Have I just freaked you out with something? Try to work out what that is. <gasps> Look, I can't carry on. I need to know what this means. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this. It's a fear or disgust of closely packed holes. Oh, isn't that the um, camera? The camera's like freaking people out. Have you got that? Have I just freaked you out with these? Mm. 
like weird bumpy texture holes. Oh god. I'm not frozen. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> it looked like my camera just froze. Then but I'm just waiting to hear. Are you okay? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you suffer from? Oh, bugger. Do you suffer from that? Do you? So is that like um, like speakers and stuff? If it was too much, I would leave. I'm good. I hate certain texture. I'm so weird. Oh, well, if it makes you feel any better. Um, oh, is it when I also put the iPad right up and you could see the texture? So I'm trying to do more now about his feathers because they're just little feathers. So rather than making them circles, because I'm going to try and make them look feathery rather than doing circles. Because wasn't there was something to do with the new iPad because of the camera, or it was the iPhone? It was some something like that. The only kind of fear I've got that's like an irrational fear, I guess, is I hate like people um, touching feet. I can't have n no, 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 it's his head that's triggering. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, I know. It was, it's this bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Free. <laughs> I don't like it if it's any consolation. <laughs> oh, I think that's uh, why when I had, when I try to texture my art, I always end up smoothing it out. It's so annoying because I want to do more. My brain doesn't let me. <laughs> Hi, Fiona. Oh, how are you? God, I haven't talked to you in a while. How are you doing? I always um works a lot busier now so I, um, I was saying just earlier that I always seem to miss people's live streams now I'm not saying it looks bad please don't take no no I'm I, I'm <laughs> I don't I mean I think this is gone too much now because I've lost the lightness that I had before um which is why I'm now going to do a different technique I just I find it really hard when it's some um, shadows that's kind of a uh, yeah like I was saying how that the whole like dark to light thing you obviously can't do. <clears throat> I'm not saying it looks bad, but hi everyone, hey all, oi oi, lurking, hi guys, <laughs> talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> How is the streaming going, Fiona?
good. Yeah, I'm okay. Um, I'm doing something a bit different today. So I'm doing um, peacock. It's something I don't normally, I wouldn't normally do a peacock. Um, so it's a bit out of my comfort zone. Oh, and I keep forgetting the camera's here, but I moved my screens to here. You can't, they're just off camera. Look, I've got this posh. I wonder if I can do this. Ooh. So I've got my laptop, but then I've got this new monitor here, like a little one I've just inherited. So I'm going to um, see how that goes. But because it's all over there, all my chat is over there, but my camera is over here. <laughs> so I need to remember to look this way. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I wondered if I'd messed the setting up. Hold on. That bit better. There are a lot of colours in his beak.
I need to head out. I'll take a look for this later and see how it turns out. Well, it's not going to be finished today, so you're, you'll be okay. <laughs> Thank you. Well, have a good day, whatever you're doing. I'm always tempted. Now I've kind of done this once. I know that I would actually redo this section and I know exactly how I do it. So it might be that I redo that bit and maybe get to the same stage that I am now and then kind of carry on the stream maybe. Fact, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to finish off his neck. restart it because I feel like I really like this section and I like how all the colors um, are blending together this is quite cute up here but I know when I finish that that will look really cute um, but yeah this this bit the problem is I really want the head I want that to be I want that to be that, that has to be perfect um, the same with this section which is let me show you Brie look away um these bits here so i want the head and this section to be completely in focus and then i think the the tail feathers um will probably be a little bit more blurred out maybe
because it could be that I actually just went into way too much detail. Maybe I just needed to not do the individual feathers. Maybe um, I just needed to go and do the little dots because it doesn't necessarily mean just because there is darkness underneath it doesn't necessarily mean that I have to put it in my painting because <laughs> I think it looked really nice before um, and that's just I don't know it's just darkened it it's not quite as good as it was I wondered maybe if I did the highlights over the top of them that it would change that it would improve it but I think it looks a bit too prominent which you can argue is what it looks like in the paint but in the picture but you know again just because that's what it looks like in the picture doesn't necessarily mean that that's what's going to look nice for the painting Yeah, so I think I might um, I might leave it there. So I'll show you the detail. So I'm going to go quite far in. So down here, this is obviously just this is really rough. So I'm just putting up, putting down the um, basic colour, um, and then gradually getting up to his head. So I think I've just done way too much detail in his head. Um, I think it's gone a bit mucky looking, so I'm going to redo it um, because I know it's going to look so much better if I don't don't do that. <laughs> um, yeah, and then um, obviously eventually, the reason I want to get this bang on is because um, it's going to take me forever to do the feathers. Um, and I don't just want to, and this needs to be perfect basically. Um, and I know that I can do something different with that head. So I'm going to do that next time. Um, and it's going to look amazing. So yeah, I will uh, leave it there and I'll finish this next time. I'll probably get it all drawn out and prepped ready. Um, and then I'll probably paint it again I think in the stream because then I can kind of explain what I'm doing um, and why I've done it so sorry camera's there screen's there camera's there pretty pretty thanks Bree yeah it'll, um, I'm going to redo the head 
for the next time. Um, yeah. And it will be nice, like, especially, can you imagine all the, like, the colour in the tail feathers? It's going to be really cool. So I'm excited to paint that. Um, and maybe I'll go a bit nuts and maybe do an A3 rather than an A4. But we'll see. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks very much for joining. Um, enjoy your day, whatever you're doing. Thanks, Bree. Um, and I will catch you next week because I'm not going to be doing um, Thursday's live stream because um, I am seeing a friend who has travelled quite far. So I'm going to go and have dinner with her instead, I'm afraid. But next week. Yeah, so enjoy enjoy yourselves and um, I'll see you next week and have a good one. bye -zy bye Thank you.